Hello, this is a video about integrating an exponential times a trig. The technique is integration by parts, but it's going to require integration by parts twice. And then what happens after that is that it becomes an algebra question. You see, when we do integration by parts the first time, what's going to happen is we're going to have this change from an integral that you see here to an integral with cosine in it. And then when we do it a second time, we'll trade back in for another integral that has cosine in it. And so uh, what will end up happening is this integral that we're looking for will be equal to some formula and involving the same integral. At that point, then it's just algebra. And so let's go ahead and get started. We have to choose one part to be u and the other part to be dv. And so you can't go wrong here. Either choice will work. I prefer it to let u be equal to the trig. So over here on the right upper corner, we have u is equal to cosine x and dv is e to the 2x dx. Okay. Now remember, you're supposed to take the derivative of u and the antiderivative of dv. You see the formula for integration by parts is that the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. And so the derivative of u cosine x is negative sine x dx. The antiderivative of e to the 2x is one half e to the 2x. If you're ever integrating e raised to some constant times x, then what happens is you get the reciprocal of that constant as a multiplier. Just think if it was just e to the kx and you went to go try to take the derivative to get back, there'd be a chain rule that gives you a k but there's no, there's no multiplier here. And so then that K must have canceled. And the reason why it has to cancel, we need that um, reciprocal there. So just remember, it comes up so often, you shouldn't have to do a U sub to show that part. <clears throat> so anyway, because of that, then every time you integrate E to the KX, you're gonna get a factor of one over K multiplier. What I like to do then is draw in these arrows that display the, the formula for me. I multiply u and v together, and then I subtract the product of v and du. So this integral that I'm looking for is traded in for the, pro <clears throat> the product of u and v minus the integral of v du. Now, there is a minus for the formula, which shows up here. And then we have a minus in our derivative, which shows up here. Those two minuses come together to give you a plus. Got to be very careful with the signs on this question. Okay, I've turned the, the new integral blue. The, the part that is before that is just the product. There's no integral on that. I'm going to um, now address the blue integral. So what did I do? I, I had an integral on e to the 2x cosine x, and now I have an integral on e to the 2x sine x. It was a lateral switch. Usually when you do integration by parts, you want to get, um, you want to make progress. You want to get to a simpler integral, but this is just a straightforward trade for one for the other, and you didn't get simpler. Now when you do it again, you get back to where you start at. And so um, just be consistent with whatever you chose before. You should choose that again. I'll choose u to be sine x. And then dv is going to be e to the 2x dx. With the, let's take the half with it. <clears throat> Instead of pulling the half out, let's just keep it with it. And we'll replace this entire blue integral here. <coughs> I apologize. <coughs> so now we take the derivative of u and the integral of dv. So we get cosine x dx as the derivative of u and another one half factor. So one four e to the two x as the antiderivative of dv. Okay, let's put this back in, put the formula back together. 
where we multiply u and v together and then subtract the integral of v du. So we have one fourth e to the two x sine x minus one fourth the integral of uh, e to the two x cosine x. The same color so you can see um, where it came from. The first term was left alone. And now we're looking at the integral that we were asked about equal to the first product from the UV, the second product from the UV, and then this new integral here, which is essentially the same integral except for a factor of one fourth. So what do we do now? Well, at this point, the calculus is over and it's just gonna be an algebra. Imagine that this is called I, and this is minus one fourth of I. We'll add that over and have five fourths of I. <clears throat> Here it is in red. So I have a, the minus one fourth and I'll add over a fourth to both sides. And then the one plus a fourth gives five fourths. The other two parts, they don't have any integrals on them. It's just the products from the UV, the first and the second time. So essentially we're done. We just have to multiply by that reciprocal of five fourths. We could leave it like this. I'll go ahead and distribute though, where we have the first coefficient, the one that's on e to the two x cosine x being two fifths. And then we'll have the second coefficient being one fifth, four fifths times one fourth is one fifth. And then I'll throw in the plus C now. So, <clears throat> so we have um, the integral of e to two x cosine x is equal to two fifths e to the two x cosine x plus one fifth e to the two x sine x and then the plus c. So it's integration by parts. This will happen every time you have an exponential and a trig that, that is easily um, integrable. And it is your job to do it twice. Where doing it once just trades you in for the other trig function and doing it again gets you back to where you start at. At that point then it just becomes algebra. Um, it, it, was, it would have been a lot easier if this multiplier on x in the exponent of e wasn't a two. So that's what made it a little more difficult. My recommendation is to handle it like I did here, keep the constants inside the integral, and uh, it should be fine. All right, uh, thank you for watching. Sorry I had to re-record this video. It is, um, I, forgot put, I forgot to put my headset on. But uh, please comment down below if there's anything, any questions or concerns you have. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, and in the description, you'll find a, a link to um, two workbooks that I sell. It's a workbook from this class, Calculus 2. Um, it's 100 midterm questions um, with full solutions. And then I have one for Calc 3 as well. And then if you need any online math tutoring, um, I can help there too. Um, the link is, is in the description. All right, thank you very much.